Hey y'all, it's me Nadia, also known as OMG underscore it's Nadia, and today's video is going to be a wash and go using Camille Rose products. Y'all, their products smell so good, they remind me of like cake batter. So I of course will be starting this style off on freshly washed hair, and the shampoo that I use is the Biotin and Collagen Shampoo by ONYX, and then also the conditioner I'll be using is by Giovanni, and this conditioner, I feel like it be doing its job because my hair be feeling like it's cooling, it be feeling like it's sizzling, like I feel like it's doing its job. So I'll be using a Curl Love Moisture Milk as my leave-in cream. <laughs> So although the moisture milk does smell really good, y'all, I feel like it just does not work for my hair. I feel like the product is more so of like a hair lotion instead of like a thick like cream or whatnot. So I feel like it doesn't really get the job done and I feel like it doesn't really moisturize my hair like what I'm used to. So the oil I will be using is my all-time favorite oil. It is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And this is my first time using the brand Sunny Owl. Um, the reason why I always like using castor oil is because it is a thicker oil and it is good for dry hair, dry scalp, and also it helps thicken the hair. So before I apply the curl maker gel to my hair, I will be applying this moisture butter. They say that you can use this moisture butter on either dry hair or wet hair and it is used to seal in the moisture. It also says that it will provide you with the maximum moisture and curl definition. So y'all, we, we about to find out if this is really true. Also, this moisture butter is way thicker than the moisture milk, but that does make sense because the other one is supposed to be like a milk and this one is supposed to be like a butter. So I feel as though this product will make up for what the moisture milk did not do. So the gel I will be using is the Camille Rose Curl Maker and this is a curling jelly that will eliminate frizz, moisturize, and define the curls. So the way that I am going to define my curls is of course I detangle my hair already with my little, what is it called, a tangle teaser because my little dimming brush thingy, it broke. So this is the next option. So yeah, I'm just going to use that, smooth my hair out, and then I'm going to go in and apply the gel and then I'm just going to use my fingers now to define my curls so y'all i have not done a wash and go in a very long time since maybe like the beginning of the month so i was trying to figure out how i was going to actually define my curls because it has been so long since i've done it so i was torn between just like running my fingers through and just letting it be like that or if i was going to like finger coil you finger coil you it so you will see me do a little bit of both <laughs> I can say that this gel did work really well. Um, I'm not going to lie. Once my hair did dry, it did feel really crunchy. But like the next day when I put some oil in it, y'all, my hair, it felt so soft. Like it felt like 
pillow soft, like a baby soft, like what other things are soft? That's how my hair felt. And I was just like, how did my hair go from being so crunchy to feeling so soft? So like this gel, it gets two thumbs ups for me. Like it might be the replacement for my equal style gel. But then again, I don't know because it is a little bit more expensive than equal style gel. Mm -hmm.